So I watched Jack Reacher never go back and it was not so good. In this highly anticipated sequel, Jack Reacher goes back to the military police to help the new major clear her name and uncover some secrets about his past. I didn't think the first Jack Reacher film was very good, but it had some decent moments, whereas the sequel is just super middling throughout. It's hard for me to actually think of any real positives. There was less awkward humour in this than in the first, and I liked it when Tom Cruise stared into the distance in Deep Four, but you can probably get that in a much better Tom Cruise film. You've got two stories going on, one involving some betrayal in the military and the other revolving around a girl that could be Jack Reacher's daughter. Both have their moments, but I was never really itching to find out what was going to happen next, and most of the action scenes started off and they seemed like they could be pretty cool, and then they were just fine. This did also follow a very similar structure in terms of villains as the first film. You've got the Hitman guy, and then you've got some henchmen, and then a big boss in the background who you rarely see, so you don't really care about. And I can't say much more about this film because I feel like I'm forgetting it as I talk. This is just a very average action film, and in that sense, I don't really think it's worth bothering to check out. So I'm going to give Jack Reacher Never Go Back two stars. Thank you for watching, and subscribe for more.